Hello, in this video I'll be teaching on how to install swirl packages into RStudio for you to do in-app or in RStudio tutorials. So you have this list of instruction in the e-learning portal and you just need to follow them and this is just a tutorial on how to follow those instructions. So number one, step number one is to download the course file at this website. So you just need to click on that link and you'll go to my github repository here you can find the swirl package for the first lesson the lesson ieg301 underscore r underscore programming underscore e uh, with the extension swc so to download this you just click on the download button wait for it to finish to download and now I I have it downloaded in my uh, downloads folder so you see it there then step number two is to run our studio so search for our studio click on that and you just need to install a package to be able to run the tutorial so to install the package we just need to uh, follow step number three install the package swirl if you have not installed it yet so I'm guessing that you haven't so you just need to type the command this command in at the console so um, let me just see what it says install dot packages swirl so over here you just need to write install dot packages a list will pop up if you have um, typed the right command so just click on that to auto complete and then put a double quote and type in swirl after that press enter and wait for it to finish installing for this you need to have an internet connection but just to download the package you don't have to have the internet connection all the time so now it's successfully installed then we um, go to the next step we load the swirl package by typing library swirl type in library to load the package in the parenthesis type in swirl and press enter and uh, it says here hi type swirl when you're ready to begin so let's see what's the next step we need to load the course by typing the command install course so type in install course and uh, press enter see whether that's the right command oh install underscore course so type in install underscore course that in the parentheses press enter and a window will pop up and you just need to choose the file that you downloaded a few minutes ago so go to the downloads folder you see the downloaded file and click on open after choosing that click on open and it says here the course has successfully installed so now the next step is to run the course by typing swirl to so type in swirl the double parenthesis again okay keep in mind that you don't need to put any space between swirl and the parenthesis press enter and then here just follow the instructions it says here welcome to swirl please sign in if you've been here before use the same name as you did then if you are new so um, please type in your full name in my case I just type in u3 usup and press enter and just read the instructions it says here thanks you three use soap let's cover a couple of quick housekeeping time items before we begin our first lesson first of all you should know that when you see a dot 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 like this that means you should press enter when you are done reading and ready to continue so you see the dot 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 here that's my cue to press enter to continue so press enter and read the instructions again also when you see answer the r prompt this is the r prompt 
or when you are asked to select from a list that means it's your turn to enter response then press enter to continue for example here we need to either select one two or three and press enter I could continue I could proceed or I could let's get going so let's just choose one to continue and read through the instructions so uh, we can go through this you can exit swirl and return to the R prompt at any time by pressing the escape key that means if you want to escape the lesson you just press the escape if you are already at the prompt then type by remember what a prompt is this is the prompt to exit and save your progress when you exit properly you'll see a short message letting you know you've done so so when you are at the prompt like so typing skip allows you to skip the current question typing play lets you exp experiment with R on your own swirl will ignore what you do that means it will not grade what, whatever answer you put in uh, typing play lets you experiment uh, until you type next n-e-x-t with the parenthesis which will regain swirl's attention typing by causes swirl to exit your progress will be saved typing main returns you to the swirl's main menu and typing info displays these options again so you see the dot 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 there you just need to press enter and then um, please choose a course so here you notice that we've already installed the course if you have not installed the course then you will not see this option you will just see take me to the swirl course repository so because you already installed we see this so obviously we want to try this course so we just need to type one sorry at the selection and press enter and these are all the lessons that's available for the course so we start with the first lesson which is the basic building blocks and press enter press one so in this case it says attempting to load lesson dependencies this lesson requires the this package um, R is made up of many packages so this is a base package uh, this is one of the package that you need to install to run the lesson and since it's a new installation of R so you need to install this package so it says here would you like me to install it for you obviously yes choose one press enter and then try to install the package so again this requires the internet but it doesn't require that much data so it has it gives some warnings here it says R tools is required to build R packages but it is not currently installed because this is a new R installation so please download and install the appropriate what does it say there appropriate version of R tools before proceeding but it still managed to go on to the next uh, part so we don't have to worry about that so just press enter here because it's a dot 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 and just read through the instructions so reading the instructions is very important because you get to learn a lot of things while going through the text here so please read that and this is where the lesson start or the the content start for how to use R in its simplest form R can be used as an interactive calculator it says here type 5 plus 7 and press enter so just follow the instructions to get yourself used to the R environment so here we see um, the prompt and it's waiting for the response from you like that this is the prompt so here since it's waiting for us and it gives us gives us the instructions 5 plus 7 and press enter so we just need to enter the answer here at the prompt after that you just press enter and you see that the progress has increased to 8% and also it prints out the content or the instruction on R it says here R simply prints the result of 12 by default there it prints it out however R is a programming language and often the reason we use a programming language as opposed to a calculator because that's using R as a calculator is an overkill uh, instead of just using it for a calculator we should use R to automate some process or avoid unnecessary repetition so there you see dot 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 and then you just press enter to continue you also notice that the progress bar increased from 5, 8, 11 to 13 percent and this way you can guess how far along have you gone into the lesson so you keep on doing this until the end of the lesson so now you've completed the lesson and you reach to the end where it says would you like to submit the log of this lesson to Google form so that your instructor may evaluate your progress so yes 
you need to choose yes and uh, choose number two and press enter it'll go to this Google form where it's list out all your submission answers in encrypted form and you click on submit to su submit your work and um, I'll be able to see your uh, progress or your results in Google form so that's it for uh, this video and hope to see you in the next one. Good luck. Bye.